today I'm gonna play Black Meat Wukong and I want to show you the secret ending in this game or the true ending and also how you can get it. I'm gonna explain that as fast as I can and also I'm gonna show you actually the secret ending with all the cutscenes so enjoy. Now we have to do certain things in order to unlock the secret ending. The first thing that you should do is to unlock the secret area and to defeat the secret bosses from chapter 1 two, four and five. Remember that uh, four different chapters with four different secret areas. We have to complete those and we have to get those bosses from the secret areas. And also a uh, very important, I'm gonna put some uh, links in this video description of how you can lock uh, every single secret area that it's in this game. And also something again, very, very important that you should not miss. I'm talking about the treasure hunter quest in chapter three. So complete the treasure hunter quest in chapter 3 it's a must if you don't complete that you cannot unlock the secret ending uh, at the bitter lake at the north shore of the bitter lake right here you're gonna find uh, you can start actually this uh, hunt treasure hunter this is the npc that's gonna give you that and i'm gonna put also a link uh, with the complete quest with this quest in this video description if you don't know how to complete it after you're gonna do all of that all of that uh, i just told you we have to reach chapter 6 and then just go back to the snow veld trail in chapter Chapter 3 so basically you just reach chapter 6 and you don't want to finish the game until you're gonna be here in this location because now we have to uh, reach the great pagoda shrine if you already know how to go to the great pagoda it's perfect you can just keep few seconds of this video so let's go there we just reached the great pagoda now if you like to see uh, that everything is perfect you should uh, look upon those walls you can see seven different places where you can see paintings and six of, of them they have to be uh, covered with paintings this is the first second third and you're gonna see three on the other side right over here so you can see three more right there and there's gonna be that red one uh, in front of you we're gonna find that small buddha npc talk with that small buddha npc and then we're gonna unlock the secret area from chapter 3 this is the only way of how we can unlock the secret area from chapter 3 chapter 3 by um, completing everything that i just mentioned before in his steps you've trod from his eyes you've seen the circle has led you back have you gleaned any truths <laughs> Long has an old friend waited for you. Destiny ripens. This last mural holds the key. After you're gonna discuss with him, you're gonna unlock uh, the path to the next shrine, to the secret shrine, and now we have to defeat some of the worst bosses that are in this game. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure most of you already know what I'm talking about, so let's go. It's no easy feat coming here, when I didn't come to keep you company. 
In your heart, there must be something you can't get over. Or someone you can't let go of. Same goes for me. I can't kill that monkey. Not yet. Except himself. The last I see is the wrong way. We are at the Erlang, this boss fight is gonna be in different phases, uh, I have videos on my YouTube channel with a complete boss fight if you have any problem to defeat this guy, I have videos with every single phase, with uh, also with the secret uh, other bosses that can be found in this area, I am talking about the 4 heavenly uh, kings and also with the Erlang Shen, because yes, this is the Sh Erlang, the sacred divinity, it's gonna be transformed into Erlang Shen, it's gonna be another fight in the same uh, location, basically the second, uh, uh, the second phase, the second important phase from this fight, these are all the kings, and we have to defeat them. When the fight will be over, you're gonna get some cutscenes and then also you're gonna get your rewards. Really awesome rewards that you cannot get uh, if you don't complete this uh, secret task that I just uh, told you in this video. You're gonna see another uh, cutscene. The signs alone tell what's to come. What's to come is what's not yet written. No one can read what's not written. Destiny is written in what's done. What's done shapes what's to come, not escape. <laughs> it's all written for me, if only I uncover all that occurred. So, hmm? there really is something even you cannot read. That's good. Very good. <laughs> And now after you just got all your rewards, all your awesome rewards, it's time to make our way to chapter 6 to the final location. And by the way, if you don't know how to reach this location with this stone, I have a video on my YouTube channel how I can find the last boss. The stone monkey is the name. How I can find stone monkey, just search it on my YouTube channel. And the stone monkey is gonna uh, battle or uh, yeah, the battle with stone monkey is gonna have two different phases. We have to defeat also the great sage broken shell. Defeat every single one of these enemies and if you did everything like I just mentioned in this video you're gonna get the secret ending which I'm gonna let you right now to enjoy uh, like subscribe share love you all see you soon must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tung Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real hero
him was already dead on the journey to the west. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. Does it matter if you become a Buddha? That headband has always been on your head. <laughs> Keep those eyes wide open. Watch me rip it off and break free. Soon will come. When you defy the celestial court, I had to seal you beneath the mountains with my immense power. Yet, after enduring punishment, you embraced the dark, uplifted good against evil, and subdued Yaogwais throughout the journey. For your contribution, I now bestow upon you the title of victorious fighting Buddha. He defied the Celestial Court, and the Jade Emperor imposed three ordeals. Only when the chicken finishes pecking the rice, the dog laps up the flowers, and the rabbit burns through the key, the rain will fall. Bottoms up, brothers! One final toast before we crash the Celestial Palace! <laughs> 